about you return this to the silly factory where it belongs? Because this is no good. No good at all. Since I've made a lot of videos on rare tanks and War Thunder, I got a ton of comments asking me to play the E100. Now, being one of the rarest tanks in the game, I don't own it, but I did get a test drive for it. The E100 is basically a less stupid mouse. It weighs a lot less, but also has a less powerful engine. It's also a fair bit lighter, which you think would improve its mobility, but its power to weight ratio is a whopping 0.02 better. You can see its top speed is higher, and I think that's because the transmission is different. I don't know if that top speed is actually achievable. We're keeping up with the Tiger, surprisingly. I mean, for a super heavy tank, this is like blistering speed. <laughs> I just hope I can get to the fight before the enemy team just disintegrates. I, <laughs> it might be a genuine issue. <laughs> this is typically why I don't like playing heavy tanks. I do enjoy seeing the action. <laughs> now while we're waiting to get to the other side of the map, I should mention that I think the E100 is slightly ahistorical. Like, the turret was never mounted on this chassis, and the E100 turret was supposed to be a bit different. Okay, that's one kill. People really sleep on the 75, it's extremely useful. I think that's why people typically don't have a very good time. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh... Oh, okay, he's leaving. My main goal is to blow up. Oh. Trolled. Oh, no, I got trolled. <laughs> what? Hello? There we go. Goodness gracious. Oh. Well, apparently the side skirts can be blown off, so that's something to be aware of, I guess. But yeah, when playing the mouse, having primary and secondary bound to separate keys is pretty much vital. Hmm. The M51 does scare me a bit. That is 105 heat, which will definitely mess us up. Ooh, buddy, bad luck. I mean, no, that was entirely skill-based, and I'm great at the game. I mean, we only hit his engine as well, that fuel fire. I swear that fuel explosions do more damage than ammo racks at this point. And another full down tier, and on a city map too. This should be interesting. Granted, it's a very large city map, but... Okay, why was that 50 cal, like... 10 times louder than anything else. <laughs> Look at how tiny the engine is compared to the rest of the vehicle. What engine is this supposed to be anyway? I do like that they have towing eyes on it. That's very optimistic. <laughs> I think the only way to recover one of these would be with another E100. Oh, hello. That was an M6A2. Okay, you just shot smoke, which I have to admit is probably not going to help you a whole lot. What is that, a T-54? Oh, please don't ram me. No, nope, Type-62. <laughs> okay, this this IS-3 is using me as mobile cover, which I, is fair, I guess. Oh, what is that? T-92 T and a Bulldog? No, wait. T-34. Are you... <laughs> his, his cannon barrel caught it. Actually, I just thought of something. Do the side skirts act like spaced armor? Because that, that AML shot us in the side and it didn't do anything. Last game. Oh, there's a USH. Got him. Which is a very good thing because the USH is one of the scariest vehicles in the game. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I have more kills with a 75 than the 128 at this point. The E100 seems like it's a lot of fun. I mean, it is basically just a mouse, but it does seem like you're too slow to really get a ton of kills. Like, our team has been spawn killing the enemy for a while now, and we are just arriving. Clowning on 6.7s doesn't feel very fair. <laughs> Another down tier. You know what? I think I'm just going to rush right in and not be careful at all. Oh. That's not good. That's the, that's the one thing that I'm scared of. Ooh, Lord. I take it back. Let's not, let's not rush right in. 
please let me depress. Germany, make better tanks, please, I beg you. <laughs> Very unfortunate. God, yeah. He was being real sneaky. I just hope he doesn't come back in a plane. I have the strong feeling that he might. If he does, you guys owe me 20 bucks, and if he doesn't, I don't owe you anything. Ooh, T-32. Please don't notice me. He noticed me. Huh? It's all good, though. Why would you do that? Yeah, if you could not do that, that is so loud. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Of course. Yeah, I can do that to you. My question is, where do I shoot this uh, M26? That works. I have a headache right now. And that rocket M26 was g bringing me genuine pain. <laughs> oh my lord. Come on, Gunner, come back. <laughs> what? Come on, Gaijin. Still nine kills, that's not bad at all. We're currently like, what, 18 and one? Oh no, max up to here. Gaijin's like, okay, that's enough fun for you for one day. You know what, I'm gonna put this on cruise control and I'm just gonna go get something to eat real quick. Oh, no, nope, I hear a helicopter. Wait, what? What is happening? What is it doing? <laughs> um, I do hear several vehicles. They almost certainly hear me. I know it's hard to believe, but this thing isn't exactly inconspicuous. And they just are not bothered by the fact we're capping B. Well, we got a few of them before you went down. I think I prefer the E100's armor scheme compared to the mouse. Because that M103 shot us with heat and it didn't go through, which I think it would have if I was in a mouse. Well, what is the job of this guy? Probably radio operator, right? You could at least give him a periscope. Uh, uh, thank you. I'm not sure how much that helps, but... Okay, you can, you can stop pushing me now. You're actually just, uh, this is just detrimental. I, I can't shoot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you, I, I want to turn. Jeez Louise. Ooh. That was a very satisfying explosion. Oh, hello. Buddy, <laughs> you had forever to shoot me in the turret side. How do we have the most kills on our team? I don't understand. This is a max up tier. I don't think we can fit through that. I'm gonna die here. Centurion, please don't move. Please just wait while I uh, take out your track and nothing else. There we go. Hello, Leper. Do you need help? I really wish you had not smoked up. And the Leper bailed on us. Sick. Oh. Alright. Okay, <laughs> see you later. Bye bye <laughs> That's That's one way to do it, I guess. <laughs> that was just mean. You think I can get some bitches with these? How much is this on the market anyway? It's like 900 bucks, isn't it? It's crazy to think that there are people out there that would spend almost a thousand dollars on a tank in War Thunder. I think the most expensive item I purchased in War Thunder was the MAA-1. I used my first YouTube paycheck to get it. It was like a hundred bucks, I think. You gotta reinvest in the brand, you know? Ooh, what well, it looks like an IKV. Do we just bounce off of it? 
There we go. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I think that's proof that Bradley's the best IIV, right? What is that sound? Is someone like throwing their lunchbox around the inside of the tank? Maybe it's the transmission breaking. It is a German tank after all. Uh, oh my god, my aim. <laughs> Don't worry, we turned this optic red. There we go. Oh wait, we're witnessing something very rare here, guys. Someone is actually using the dozer blade. That is the first time I have ever seen someone use that. Not just on the AVRE, on anything. Hello. Poor guy. So that's the E100. For all intents and purposes, it is a mouse. It looks like a mouse, it plays like a mouse. There are some slight differences, but not enough to really notice it while playing it. It's a very good vehicle. My KD is 7.6, I think. It's not amazing in up tiers, but as you saw, it's still possible to do well in it, or do okay. In down tiers, though, it's just stupid. <laughs> anyway, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.